my dear students this session is about quadratic equation which is algebra part 3 in this session we are going to cover quadratic equation in all the possible ways starting with characteristics then standard formula and then shortcuts so let's begin with the characteristics the first characteristic is it always has a term called x square which means coefficient of x square can never be zero in a polynomial for example x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 here we have a term called x square so this is a quadratic equation the next characteristic is solution of a quadratic equation is always the point where graph intersect at x axis in any graph we have horizontal line and vertical line horizontal line is called x axis and vertical line is called y axis this is what is the very basic things and we know this and the cross section point of x axis and y axis is called point zero zero or origin to understand the second characteristics uh, let me open a graph here let me write down an equation x square minus 5x plus 6 if you look at the graph it's open from the upside that means it's infinite in the upper side if I zoom this in yes if I zoom the graph here we can see the points are 2 0 and 3 0 that means in the horizontal line it is intersecting the point 2 and point 3 these are two points which are the solution for this equation but what is this 2.5 and 2.5 this is the point from where the curve gets changed that means this is either the maximum point or the minimum point if you also want to draw a graph of any equation you just scan the QR code and go to the link now let's move on to the second portion of this session which is standard solution of a quadratic equation solution of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is given by x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a using this standard formula we can figure out solutions for all kinds of quadratic equations now in order to better understand let's take an example suppose a quadratic equation is x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 now we know this formula now let's compare the standard form of a quadratic equation with the equation that is taken as example so we get a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 5 and c is equal to 6 put all these values into the formula and that's it so x is equal to minus b that means minus of minus 5 plus minus root over b square that means minus 5 square minus 4ac 4 into 1 into 6 whole upon 2a now if I simplify this x is equal to minus of minus 5 is 5 plus minus root over minus 5 square is 25 and 4 into 1 into 6 is 24 so 25 minus 24 whole upon 2 or we can write x is equal to 5 plus minus root over 25 minus 24 is root over 1 or 1 so it becomes 5 plus minus 1 whole upon 2 or we can write x is equal to 5 plus 1 by 2 or 5 minus 1 by 2 or x is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6 6 by 2 or 4 by 2 6 by 2 is equal to 3 that means x is equal to either 3 or 4 by 2 is equal to 2 that means 2 so x is equal to either 3 or 2 but remember one thing that x cannot be equal to both 3 and 2 simultaneously this is what we got in the graphical representation as well x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 this was the quadratic equation and the points that we figured out here were 2 and 3 that means the answer that we have got from the formula based approach is absolutely correct